So, good evening. Um, I hope everyone can hear me. Sorry I have taken the wholesale mic and left you hanging for ages. Um, trying out some new software. I'm not the, uh, the greatest at this sort of thing, so can everybody um, let me know that you can hear me? Um, because obviously, like I said, I'm a newbie to this sort of thing, so I hope you lot can see all the new graphics. Um, whoa, I've still got my phone going as well. Um, yeah, I hope you can all see all the new graphics on the screen. I hope that you can see all the chat on the screen, the logo and all the, um, the banner at the bottom. Um, so hopefully, hopefully it's all working as it should because like I said, um, I've not been uh, the most computer savvy, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> while I just die. <coughs> and no, I'm not drunk before anybody says that in the chat room. Um, I am fine, I am alive and well, good evening VP. Um, but yeah, um, I hope everyone's um, having a wonderful Friday evening. I hope everyone's had a good week at work, um, studying whatever it is you're doing. So yeah, I hope it's all good. But um, Lauren Koscielny is on the verge of a move to Leon, a two-year deal. Um, he's 30, what, 33, 34 years old now. So, excuse me, I swear, this cold, I can't shift it. <coughs> um, so yeah, apologies if I stumble my way through this, but I've now got all the uh, all the phlegm and the snot and all the dirty stuff on my chest. It's gone from here to here to here. So hopefully next week um, it'll all be gone and all be cleared up. So yeah, hopefully we'll see what happens. But Lauren Koscielny is on the verge of a move to Leon, um, something that he's pushed for as well. It's a move that he's trying to get through. Um, it's a move that um, I think needs to happen. I think he's... Um, I think he had a fantastic season, don't get me wrong, but I think it's time for him to go now. I think he's um, he's done what he needs to do here. He's not going to get any better. And um, I think it is time for him to move on. And listen, he's had some good times over the years. He's had some bad times over the years, you know, and um, we, we all remember the good and the bad. But, um, you know, the bad... Um, <laughs> you know, the bad being um, times where he... He had, um, you know, mishaps against the likes of Birmingham City. Um, you know, we all remember that calamitous one with Chesney and they wheeled away and started scoring and, you know, the, the cup final was dead and buried. Um, we all remember against, um, I think it was Atletico as well, um, when he tried to backheel one or kick one over Griezmann's head and um, that didn't quite go to plan. So, um, so yeah, we, um, we, we both, we, we all remember them, but we also remember the good times as well when he played against um, Hull City, <coughs> excuse me, he scored in the cup final, got us back in the game at 2-2, took it to extra time, and then obviously um, the rest is history. Um, Aaron Ramsey made himself an absolute hero of the club, and um, yeah, we actually ended a nine-year trophy drought, so yeah, it was all good, and there's been other times as well um, up at Newcastle where he scored the goal that got us into the top four that season um, out um, doing Tottenham on the last day of the season. So yeah, there's been some good times, there's been some bad times and you know, at the end of the day, he's been a half decent player for us. We can't deny that. I don't think anyone can deny that. I think he's been, um, I think he's been a pretty good player for us over the years. So we can't really deny that if we're being completely honest, but you know, a lot of people will put this guy up in there as like top five centre backs at the club and stuff like that. I don't think so. I think he's been a good player. Um, he's been misfortunate enough to have played with some absolute liabilities of centre back pairings. Um, you know, Scalacci, um, Giroud. You know, uh, Mertesacker was probably the best centre back he actually played with over the years. Um, so, so yeah, it's. Um, it's not been it's not been without ups and downs. I'll say that much. But um, now, at the end of the day, I wish him well if he moves on. You know, thanks for the memories. Thanks for helping us get the cup finals and the top four finishes. But it is time to say goodbye. But you know, I thought I'd do a little stream about it. Hopefully, he does go. Hopefully, this signals the um, you know the levels of um, intent from from not only him as well. Listen, he's trying to push for the move. He's trying to get out of the club. He wants to go. So. Um, Capone says Sylvester as well. Yeah, that weren't great, was it? Um, but yeah, he wants to go. He wants to leave and he wants a new challenge. And I think he knows, he's not stupid. I think he knows that his time's done at Arsenal. 
And going forward into next season, I think he realises that um, we're in a new chapter now. It's the Emery era. It's not the Wenger era anymore. And I think he realises that it's time to go. And um, and yeah, I think um, I think it is the right time. And I wish him well. Hopefully, we go out and replace him. Hopefully, we can replace him with some quality. And um, we are in talks with a few centre backs. One of them, the um, the guy from Torino. I don't know if you see my daily transfer update this morning. A guy called Izzo Armando Izzo. Um, so yeah, we're in talks with him. He's pretty decent, if I'm being honest. We're also um, quite close to Saliba. If you uh, read all the reports, whether that comes true or not, we will see. Because um, we haven't actually agreed a fee with St Etienne for him yet. So. Um, we shall see. But listen, the fact that he's going to go, um, I think this is the, the first of many that are going to go over this summer window. And it's a case of how many, you know, at the end of the day, we need seven or eight of these players out. Um, so hopefully we can replace him. Hopefully we're going by a decent centre back to replace him. I think he's had a fairly decent Arsenal career. Um, for me, he's not a legend. I'd say he's um, he's been a very good player um, in a bad pairing. He's always had a bad pairing other than Mertesacker. I thought Mertesacker was probably the best defender we've had for a while. Um, the actual only defender that can actually defend. Um, so I wish him well and hopefully he goes on and does well at Leon if that does go through. So, so yeah, there we go. I thought I'd get my little thoughts out there. Um, sorry I took so long. I needed to uh, uh, go toilet. So, yeah, sorry about that. I started and I thought, oh, mate, I need, um, I need to go and drop some bombs. So... So yeah, here I am 25 minutes later and hopefully you guys enjoy the stream. But let's answer some of your questions. Let's read some, some of your thoughts. Um, DJ Fury says, how much is the fee? Um, evening, mate. I actually don't know if I'm being completely honest. I'm not going to sit here and blag it, but I'd imagine it would be around the £5 million pound mark. He's only got one year left. Um, he's the wrong side of 30. So I'd say about £5 million quid. Anything more than that, I think it'd be um, it'd be pretty decent, if I'm being honest. We'd rather have Mertesacker over Mustafi any day of the week, says Bruce. <laughs> Mate, I'll tell you now, right? Mertesacker could still come in and do a job right now, and it'd still be half decent. Um, so yeah, I think um, I think he'd be uh, he'd be pretty good, mate, if I'm being honest. Without sounding, wishing to sound reactionary, cost leaving should be an indicator that we'll get an experienced defender in. Thoughts on that, Lee? Says man's not a bot. <laughs> uh, that's a good name, by the way. Um, I think we will get an experienced centre-back in. I don't know who that's going to be. I, I ain't privy to that sort of information. But um, but I do think we will get a decent centre-back. I, I just don't know who it is. I think we'll actually get two centre-backs. Um, so we shall see. We've got set just under seven weeks of the transfer window to go. So... Let's see what happens. And um, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we replace him with some, um, with some quality because we're, we're long overdue some quality at centre-back, that's for sure. So let's see what happens in the next six, seven weeks. We are linked with everyone, says Maxwell. Yeah, we are linked with everyone. It's just a shame we ain't buying anyone. Um... Let's read some more of these. Let's clear out all the dead wood. Exactly, I totally agree with that, mate. He's old hat, says Troy. He is old, old hat. And do you know what, right? When he first came back from his um, Achilles injury, I think that um, I think he actually looked an absolute liability. But after that, I think he played really well. I think he done reasonably well the, um, the back end of the season, the, the last sort of run in of the season. I know we flopped at the end, but... I think he played reasonably well. Um, so, listen, he was um, he was a good centre back for us. He wasn't a world class centre back for us. He was what he was. He was a a cheap buy that turned out to be pretty decent and over what his um, market value was when we bought him. So, good signing in the end, but not a great signing. If, if I'm being completely honest, a lot of people disagree with that. A lot of people think he's world class or was world class. A lot of people think that. Um, He's like top five centre backs for the club. It's like really, you obviously haven't seen centre backs before um, before him.
go look for centre backs from the Africa Cup of Nations. They're decent ones down there. Yeah, do you know what? There is some good African centre backs out there, mate. I totally agree with you. I think there's some fantastic players in the Cup of Nations. Um, so yeah, we could do a lot worse than going and doing that, you know. But um, it all depends on what Emery wants to do. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, what, what road does he want to go down? Um, there might be some surprises. Probably Pepe, says Cobster. I hope so. Um, I actually watched a highlight reel of his earlier. Um, I think it was BT Sport that put it out. And, um, mate, some of the shit that guy can do is just unbelievable. So, so yeah, hopefully um, we go and buy some absolute quality. Um, thank you, VP, for your donation. I appreciate that, mate. Um, Jack Lawton says, getting close to 20K. Yeah, man. Um, about 1,700-odd subs away from 20K, and that is when I start the podcast. So... If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I will be doing a podcast as soon as I get to 20k. Um, so yeah, hopefully, um, hopefully that'll be pretty soon. Richard Harron says, "What's the story with Mustafi?" Um, I don't know, mate. <laughs> I don't think anyone's linked to him. So, so yeah, we shall, um, we shall see. We shall see what happens in the next um, seven weeks or so. Green screen fund. Thank you, Sergio. Do you know what? That is on the list of things to get. Um, that is on the list of things to get because, listen, you can't keep looking at this wall behind me. Um, so, yeah, that is um, something I am going to look to do in the future. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, thank you for that, mate. I appreciate it. There's loads of things I've got planned going forward for next season as well. So, keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, best Norwegian player in the Premier League ever. Brackets, not sunny boy. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. I, I genuinely don't know. Um, that's a tough question. That's a tough question, mate. Um, give me a couple of minutes on that, mate. I don't, I don't know. Um, there's, there's a few. There's, there's, there's quite a few over the years. Let's be real, you know. Um, I don't know. What's the most pointless Arsenal signing you have seen, says Ashan. Um, I don't know, there's been a few of them as well, mate. <laughs> um, uh, Park, um, Asano, um, who was the other one? Inemoto, all pointless signings, mate. All absolutely pointless signings. So, so yeah, um, there's been loads over the years, mate. So, we could literally sit here and do a whole um, a whole stream, yeah, literally a whole stream about the most pointless signings we have had at Arsenal. But, um, but I don't know, man. Um, just coming back to your question, um, Rabba, I'd say, I don't know, man. I'd say Jan Agafjortoft was a good one. He was a decent player. Obviously, only gone to Solskjaer. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. Henningberg, you know, he played for United as well. That ain't easy to play for United for for as long as he did. What was that? Um, seven years he played for United? Something stupid like that. He played for Blackburn before that. Um, I don't know. There's been loads. Loads, mate. So, chair fund. Do you, do you know what? A chair's on the list as well. A chair is on the list. Um, Tor Andre Flo, exactly. There's another one. Another top quality player. A chair is on the list because you know what? I got bored of sitting on my sofa, right? And people looking at my cushions that were matching my hoodies and that, yeah? So I thought, you know what? Let me move from the sofa and let me go and sit over the other side of the living room. So I'm currently sat on some little bean bag um, talking into a, a MacBook. Not really professional, is it? But, but I hope all you guys um, like, the, uh, like the new graphics and stuff like that. Listen, it's took me quite a while to get that set up. Um, it took me quite a while to get it all set up for tonight as well. So, um, so yeah, I hope you all appreciate that. That was part of the reason I was late. Um, that took me about 15 minutes too long to set up. And then as um, soon as I set it up, I was like, whoops, uh, nature calls. But thank you to over five, um, 450 people watching live right now in the chat um, as well. So thank you to that. Please smash a like on the video if you're enjoying the content. Um, not nearly enough likes, not even 100 likes on the video right now. So... Please do that if you are enjoying the content. And if you are new, subscribe. It is free. And um, like I said, when I do get up to 20,000 um, subscribers, I will be starting a podcast. I think to start off with, I know a lot of people said do it weekly and stuff like that. 
Um, to start off with, I think I'm going to do it monthly um, just to see how it goes. Um, and then we'll take it from there. But I do think it's going to start monthly to start off with, just to bed it in, see how it goes, see see what you guys are thinking of it, and we'll move it on from there going forward. So, so yeah, there we go. Impressed you remember Jan Aga Fjortov. Mate, he was a top quality footballer, man. Top quality player. There's been some good Norwegian players in the Premier League. Um, Espin Bardson's another one. He was a good player. Um, a lot of people won't remember him. Um, no to Carrasco. Do you know what? I don't want Carrasco, man. Genuinely do not want Carrasco at Arsenal. Um, I think that... Um, I think he's... He, like, the reports that have come out about him, about his teammates saying this and saying that, I just think, like, nah, mate. Don't want you anywhere near. Um, so, yeah, get get him nowhere near this club. Um, Dipteran, thank you very much for your donation, my friend, for the studio fund. <laughs> Um, I think I'm a long way off of the studio, but thank you. That goes towards it. I appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Troy says, good man. I love your stuff, Lee. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate all the kind words. Obviously, it's always nice to hear that. Um, Thoughts on Izzo, says Majib Ahmed. Um, do you know what? This guy is actually a very good centre-back. A very good centre-back. He's so calm on the ball, it is unbelievable. This guy could just literally walk past people like they're not even there. Um, very physical. He's only six foot, so he's not massive, but the way he can just hold players off. And I know in Italy, the players tend to be a little bit shorter, the likes of Mertens, Insigne, etc. But um, obviously, it's a different ball game in England. But I think that I think he he would be a very good signing. I think he'd do really, really well to come to us. And I think that that could be a Koscielny replacement. I think that somebody that we should be looking at, we are looking at. Apparently, his agents in talks with Arsenal. He's already flown to London. Um, so we'll see what happens, but but yeah, hopefully in the next couple of weeks we're going to sign some decent players, and hopefully um, the fans will be back on side because a lot are losing faith right now. But we shall see. We shall see what happens. It's not going to be an easy transfer window, and um, I know a lot of people are getting the ump already with it. So yeah, man. Sadly. Arsenal fans will never be united or happy, and you know there'll always um, there'll always be a divide, unfortunately. So, so yeah, it is what it is, I suppose, isn't it? Much better format. Broski says Jew Killer Zero. I don't think I should have read that name out, but there you go. Um, but yeah, thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. What are you using to stream? Now, that is a secret, my friend, because if I told you that, then um, everybody would start using it. So you can DM me. I know you DM me. So DM me on uh, Twitter and I'll tell you. But yeah, I can't let these little trade secrets out there, man. Otherwise, everyone would be copying the format. So yeah, DM me on um, Twitter, bruv, yeah? Loving the new setup. Well done with your consistency and content. By the way, Xhaka for captain. Don't piss me off, <laughs> says Jay Whitey. Do you know what? Thank you very much for your kind words, mate. But I can't agree with um, Xhaka for captain. Xhaka for the exit door, my friend. But um, but no, I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Um, Brent D. I'm happy with zero signings if Mesut Ozil goes. Wow. Um, to be honest with you, I've said all summer. Um, it's all about the ones we get rid of. It's all about the ones we get rid of. So um, thank you very much for your donation as well. And um, do you know what? I don't answer my DMs. I know you're asking about who don't answer your DMs. Yeah? Do you know what? I get DMed about 500 times a day without trying to sound like a twat. Um, but it's hard to keep up, mate, and it's a full-time job. And unfortunately, I have a full-time job. So sometimes they get left behind. So don't take it personally. Um, it's not like I'm trying to mug anyone off or anything like that. But... Um, but yeah, DM me, I'll, I'll, I'll open it, mate. DM me after the stream, yeah? Give me about half hour after the stream and I'll read it, yeah? Love the setup. Um, pray for a good transfer window. Thank you, Demetrius, for your donation as well, my friend. Appreciate that. Um, Gary says, another evening with Lee Gunner. Do you know what I mean? You guys come and join me every evening. It's fantastic. It's like, it's an audience with Lee Gunner. Do you know what I mean? Every evening, twice an evening. Over 500 people watching live. So if you are enjoying the content, if you are enjoying the new setup, then stick a like on the video. Um, press the share button. Share it on your social medias as well. 
Let's get this up to 20K. As soon as I do that, I'm doing a podcast. I've already got eight people, eight different people lined up to do the podcast. Um, it'll be a one-on-one sit-down pre-recorded podcast. Um, so yeah, if you're looking forward to that, then uh, subscribe and share the content around so others can too. Um, do you think there will be some unity within the fans if a major trophy is won next season? Um, thanks for your donation as well, Sergio. Great question. Um, I don't think the fans will ever be united, mate. The problem is you've got a lot of fans that don't like other fans. Um, you've got a lot of platforms that don't like other platforms. And you've got a lot of egos in the fan base that are all trying to um, make their way with their podcasts, with their YouTube channels, with um, their blogs, etc., etc. So everyone's trying to fight for a bit of space. But for me, there's space for everyone. You know, at the end of the day, you don't have to watch me. People come and watch me. If you don't like me, don't watch me. You know, if I don't like somebody, I won't watch them. So there's space for everybody. But unfortunately, mate, it's too far gone. The the whole Wenger in, Wenger out um, went a little bit too far at times, myself included. Um, so, so yeah, unfortunately, I don't think it'll ever be... Um, Ever be united fully, mate. Been rocking with you since the Gunner Bang channel. Big up yourself. Thank you, Brent. Do you know what? That channel, man, that was the best name for an Arsenal channel ever. I swear, I'm fuming that it's gone. But do you know what? Everything happens for a reason. And um, this channel's grown so much quicker than that channel grew. And I've been positive. Work that one out. That one was all about rants and fuming and, you know, having meltdowns and cussing and swearing and you know, and all that sort of jazz. But this one, I've been quite chilled, man. I don't really swear anymore, if I'm being honest. Um, all my videos have been pretty calm. Sometimes I swear on stream, obviously. But but yeah, it's all been pretty chill. And this one's nearly on 3 million views. So it's already on more views than the last one. Nearly double, actually. It's nearly on double the subs as well. So thank you to everyone who's took part. And, and I appreciate that. Um, pound fund. VP, man, I swear. You need to put some money into the football club, bruv. Yeah, I know you're a Liverpool fan, but seriously, go and, go and uh, you live in America as well. Go and tap up Stan Kroenke on pre-season and, um, and yeah, go and uh, stick a bid in. Hey, it's Mick Webster. Keep your shit up quality, mate. Thank you very much, mate. Appreciate that um, very, very much. Thank you, mate. Gunner Bang Podcast. That's a possibility. Um I'm still searching. Do you know what? That actually, I'll be straight up with you. Yeah, that is one of the names. So I was going to put it to a poll. Um, that is the one of the names that I've got that's going to the poll um, for the podcast name. I haven't found the second name yet that you guys have put in that I've really thought, yeah, that's that's a bit of me. Um, so yeah, it's gonna kind of bang as it stands at the minute. But I want to put it out to a poll to you guys because you guys listen, you guys watch every day. Um, so so yeah. I thought I'd um, stick it out to you guys, but I need a second name. Make the podcast an hour long, thank you, it says love underscore Rami. Do you know what? I think it will be at least an hour long. Um, I don't shut the fuck up, if I'm being honest. So, um, And some of the guests I've got lined up to come on, we can sit and talk about Arsenal. The first two, the first, in fact, the first three that I've got lined up... Um, they're, they're faces that you might recognise, um, but they're proper Arsenal, proper Arsenal. Like, so I'm not going to give any more away than that. I don't want to spoil the uh, the surprise and all that, yeah. But um, but yeah, I am going to do it, and hopefully it's going to be well over an hour long as well. So and yeah, hopefully you'll all enjoy it. Great graphics, Lee. Thank you, Edin Wolf. Thank you. Gunner bang boom blast. <laughs> <laughs> Do you rate Grinduzzi, says A99. Um, do you know what? I think he's got a little bit too much stick this season, if I'm being honest, mate. I think that um, a lot of fans call for kids to play in the team. And then we stick a kid in the team and then we mug him off. So I don't know. I think that um, I think we just need to give him another season, see where he's at in a season's time. I think he's done reasonably well. But um, we shall see. We shall see. Rent box. VP, just go and buy Arsenal, man. Seriously, we know you're a multi-millionaire, bruv, or billionaire. Kevin Campbell says, Georgie LCFC. Possibly. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um, I'm not giving you any names of people I'm getting on the pod, by the way, so I don't want to ruin any surprises. 
bring Mark Goldbridge to the show. Do you know what, right? I'm not even joking, yeah? Right? I'd straight up love to do a podcast with Goldbridge. Yeah, because I fucking think he's hilarious. That guy is so funny. It's unbelievable. But um, yeah, I would love to do that. But listen, I'm, I'm just going to do what I'm doing for now. And if that happens in the future, it happens. If it don't, it don't. I ain't going to cry over it. Do you know what I mean? But but yeah, I do rate his content. And I do rate how he does his stuff. And um, he gives me ideas every now and again as well. It's like, oh, wow, you're actually doing that. It's like, okay, cool. Um, and I'll be straight up. He gave me the idea to do the press conference reaction videos I was doing because nobody else does them. It's only him that does them. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, that's a sick idea, which is why I started doing the press conference reaction videos. So, you know, fair play to him. That guy's built a massive channel and credit to him. And the, the work rate that guy puts in is on stream all the time. So fair play to him. Big up to him. Uh, Rabba says, have to admit, Arsenal has the best fan channels, Lee Troops, Eagle Eye, Turkish, Claude, Hugh Wizzy, etc. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Um, I think that's because we're always in meltdown, mate. So you see more of us than you do the rest. <laughs> Why is everyone on about Bielik? Don't see why our fan base is hyping him up, says DC. Do you know what? You took the words out of my mouth, my friend. Yesterday, I said exactly the same on stream. Um, at the end of the day, um, the guys played two full games or two appearances for Arsenal first team. Yeah, The same people that are saying he should get a start at Arsenal and he should be the, the main guy are the same people that are slagging off Reese Nelson saying he ain't ready yet after he's played eight times more games for the club. Work that one out, mate. But nah, not for me. He's championship level at best. Not good enough. There's a reason that at 21 years old, he's only played two games under two different managers and been loaned to a League One team. Reese Nelson came straight into the team um, and then got loaned out to a, a German Bundesliga team and played games and scored goals. There's levels to this shit, man. I will be travelling later tonight, so might not catch the 9 o'clock stream, says Omar. No worries, brother. I ain't going anywhere. It'll still be here. So I hope you get to where you're going to safely, my friend. Michelle should be binned off for any offer, says Majib Ahmed. Um, only two need a chance, and they are Smith Rowe and Reese Nelson. Maybe make the Niles. Lee house tour, not today, not today. It's actually an apartment, not a house, because um, I'm poor apparently. <laughs> Do you think Bielik can, can benefit from having more English football experience than Mavropanos? Do you know what, Tom? Yeah, both of them are not good enough. Um, I've said it on camera, clip it, do what you're doing. I'm sure it'll come back to troll me in a year's time if they both smash it. But um, both of them have hardly started any games under two different managers. There's a reason for that. Because they're not good enough. Um, so, nah, not for me. Not for me. What do you think about Brahimi? He plays for FC Porto. He's a left midfielder. He can play on the wing. Um, good player. Um, not sure that we should be going down that road though, mate, if I'm being honest. Do you have a soft spot for Liverpool because they beat Spurs in the final? Um, Tom, I'll be honest with you, mate. I've always, when I was in Cyprus years ago, right, when, um, when they won the league, uh, Champions League against AC Milan, um, I was in a bar that night and there was not a single scouser in the bar. It was just full of other English football fans, yeah? And they wanted to shut the bar and we were like, nah, you ain't closing this bar until the final's done, mate. And it ended up being about 2.30 in the morning. Um, but I must admit, when they beat AC Milan, I did jump, I did jump around like a clown. I'd, I'd had a few beers, obviously. But um, I was happy for them. And a couple of my mates are Liverpool fans, and I'm over the moon for them. Um, but at the same time, I don't ever want them to win the Premier League because we will never hear the end of it. Champions League, yeah, cool. Um, they win the Champions League quite a lot. So, listen, we ain't gonna, we ain't going to say nothing to them. But... Premier League would never hear the end of it. Lee, what's your thoughts on Kim Pembe? Um, I'd take him in a heartbeat, mate. 
after all. I'll take him in a heartbeat. All right, let's do a couple more of these questions and get myself out of here. I'll be back at nine o'clock this evening. Um, brilliant news about Koscielny leaving. It is good news. It is, mate. Listen, at the end of the day, the time has come. He's been a good player for Arsenal. Um, I wouldn't say he's a great. I wouldn't say he's a legend. I'd say he's been a good player for Arsenal. Um, he is what he was. Um, and that's a cheap signing from a second-rate team. Um, and he's maybe overachieved for the, for the fee and for the team he came from. from. So, um, fair play to him. He's helped us along the way in certain aspects in terms of getting top four um, and stuff like that. Bear with me one second. I will be back. This is so unprofessional. I'm on camera, obviously, but I'll let you in. You're in, yeah? Okay. Sorry about that. I uh, had to let somebody in and they uh, phoned me to let them in. So yeah, um, as for Koscielny, as I was saying um, before I was rudely interrupted, that um, I think that, you know, he's had some good times, he's had some great times, he's had some really bad times as well. And I think that a lot of the times he's had poor partners, etc, etc. But overall, I'd rate him maybe, um, maybe a 7 out of 10 for his Arsenal career. Um, but I wouldn't put him amongst the greats at centre-back, put it that way. Um, so yeah, let's do a couple more questions and get myself out of here. Um, if we win the Premier League, I will not say anything, says VP. <laughs> Joe, you know you're probably the soundest Liverpool fan I know, mate. Shame it's not to Leverkusen for 10 million. Yeah, do you know what? I don't know what the fee is, to be honest with you, DJ. I don't know what the fee is. Um, I haven't seen anything reported about the um, the fee, so anything over five million, I'll take it. Lee doing a runner. Now somebody somebody was trying to get in, and um, my buzzer don't work for my apartment, so they have to ring me to let let them uh, in. It buzzes to let them in; it just don't buzz to let me know they're outside. And obviously, I started the stream late, so so yeah, there we go. And I uh, hope you all like the new graphics and um, stuff like that. I'll be back at nine o'clock. Um, with another stream as well so if you are new you can subscribe it's free it doesn't cost anything to subscribe to the channel um, why not go for Akraf Hakimi from Dortmund right back I don't know if Bellerin will make it back in time um, good point Sergio and thank you for your donation my friend um, I don't think Bellerin's going to be back in time for the start of the season um, but Hakimi is a very good player but I think he'd be more looking for first team football um, and I think that Bellerin's going to be first choice, if I'm being honest. But he would be a good number two, though. Don't get me wrong. He'd fight Bellerin all the way, maybe even overtake Bellerin. So why do you watch the Lee Gunner show if you support Liverpool VP? Do you know what? A lot of subscribers to this channel are not even Arsenal fans, but they like my content. So fair play to him. It's open for everyone. I don't, don't discriminate against anyone. White, black, Asian, you know... Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea, Liverpool, whoever you may support, you're all welcome on my platform and I will interact with all of you because that's how I am. I'm a nice guy. Right, one more question and I am going to get myself out of here. There we go. Oi, 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 oi. There's the question. Why not go for Tarkovsky? Um, do you know what? Tarkovsky, 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 would be a good signing. I'd happily take him. I'd take Ben Mee. I'd take Connor Cody. I'd take Lewis Dunk. Um, any of them players. Uh, Willy Bolly. I'd take all of them players at Arsenal right now. And we need them sorts of players. But um, thank you to over 550 of you that were watching live at one stage. Please put a like on the video if you enjoy the content. I will be back at 9 o'clock. Thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, thanks to over 100 people that were waiting for me um, to take an age. And... Um, Thanks to everyone who has donated as well. I really appreciate it. Obviously, as you can see, that does get used. It doesn't just go in me skyrocket. So thank you very much, and I will see you all later. Laters, peeps.